through an attempt reduction in South Pacific, out on the island, this summer. Casting now. And guess who's doing it? Harry Maxton. Sydney. Harry Maxton. Remember? He loved me when I read for him that time. Happy talk, keep talking. Happy talk. Talk about things you like to do. Remember? He really flipped out for my yacht. And he hired somebody else. And you know perfectly well you won't show up for the audition. You want to prove sadistic, self-satisfying son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I don't know why I do this. Why don't you go find out and give us both a break? Does Dr. Steiner really tell you to go drumming up business for him like that? I have not mentioned Dr. Steiner, and I'm not going to. I'm not ever going to mention Dr. Steiner in this house again, or my analysis. You don't understand it. You can't. Unless you've been through it yourself. And that happens to be true. Iris, honey, you've been in analysis for two years now. And the only difference is that you used to cry all the time, and now you scream before you cry. You don't get better every night overnight, Sydney, but it happened but it's helping me. Do you think that I would have been able to say the things I just said if I weren't going through a tremendous change? What things? I just called you a sadistic, self-satisfying, cruel, son of a bitch to your face instead of just thinking it. Don't you remember when I couldn't say things like that? Just think, just think them and, and feel them, but not say them. Which amounts to you paying that quack $20 a session to teach you how to swear? Lots of luck. It's not the point. I'm sorry, swear out loud. For someone who thinks that they are the great intellect of all times, the top heaviest son of a bitch that ever lived, for someone who thinks that they've got the most open mind that was ever open, you're the most narrow-minded provincial, insular and parochial bastard alive. And I'll tell you this, I may be whacked up, sweetie, but I really would hate to see the inside of your stomach. Oh, ho, I really would. St. John, St. John, the 12 agonies, I tell you. I'm not agonized. Everyone is agonized. And how do you know this, Iris? Everyone knows it. Ace is everywhere. And I notice I'm not the one around here with an ulcer. And I must say that for a contented man who just happens to have an ulcer, you drink one hell of a lot. It's my ulcer. Moreover, I remember a time when between the agonized and the contented, there was a whole spectrum of humanity. Basically, you're an ambivalent, uh, ambivalent personality. You can't admit to disorder of any sort because that symbolizes weakness to you. And you can't admit to health either because you associate with superficiality. Shut the hell up. I hate it when you're on this jab. Then why didn't you marry somebody you'd like to talk to then? Because... What did please the morning's academic ear did seem indeed to repel the evening's sensuous touch. Think this poor poet not cruel to say, but gentle said be but a mortal thing. Aw, is that what she told poor even when she proposed? She didn't propose. Cut it out. You once told me she did. Bedroom books. You don't believe, believe, pretend to believe mine, and I won't pretend to believe yours. I don't know the piece. What is it? Plutarch or some damn buddy. What, is it, what difference does it make what it's from? Well, whatever it's from, it says that you really do think I'm stupid. I'm not part of it. I'll get me gone. <clears throat> it said I love you. It said I do not counsel reason or quarrel with my nature. It said that, girl, I love my wife. Curious thing. I mean, frivolous mind and all. You make a silly fish watch. Stop it. Can't I say anything? Not in this mood. It's driving me crazy. And one thing is clear. You prefer picking at me to talking to me. I do not. Tell that Steiner to take his love-hate obsession and shove it. It is nothing you can know about, Sid. I'm talking about unconscious motivation. If it's all that un, then you don't know about it either. I meant sub. A subconscious motivation. Look, let's talk about how we're going to get you to go to that audition. Sidney, why can't you understand about the blocks that people have? I do understand about them, and I know that if they are nurtured and nourished, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. So I haven't worked out my life so good. Have you? Are those glasses? Are those, are those glasses that me and Mirage see before me? Well, what do you know about it? I know that there's no great wisdom in opening folks' establishment <coughs> where there's something.
something like 20 of such establishments in a radius of four blocks square. I know that, darling pie. And what the hell did you know about running a nightclub anyway? It wasn't supposed to be a nightclub. It would have done better if Bruno had done a better job on the publicity. He thought he should be paid. I offered him a quarter of the place. Who wants a quarter of a non-profit nightclub? It wasn't supposed to be a nightclub. And what are you going to do with all those glasses? How should I know what now? There have to be other enterprises named 150 sturdy restaurant glasses, don't there? When they order the place, they're going to think it's awfully funny that there's no glasses. What are you going to say happened to them? How should I know what come to happen to them? Why should I know every detail? Maybe someone broke in and stole them or something. Auditors like to know about the details, Sid. They specialize in the details. And what are you worrying about that for? You, you ought to be glad I at least salvaged something out of it. That I had to get up to go over there and get something out of there before they audit. Why can't you ever look at things from that way? From the point of view of the things I do that have foresight. <coughs> How come you gotta play wife for me all the time? So now what? Are you going to be an artist? <laughs> this is awful. It's not a, it's supposed to be a drawing. It's the layout for the... For the what, Sydney? Harvey Wyatt met some chick. Yes, and? He decided to go live in Majorica. I mean, forget the whole scene. Just go live in Majorica. Oh my god. No. Sydney? So he, no! He had to unload the paper. Oh, God. Don't let it be true. Unload it on, on whom? I, I know Sydney! It, you haven't! I know it's hard for you, Iris, to, to understand what I'm all about. I don't believe this. I don't believe that you could come out of... out of that. And get into... get into this? Aside from anything else at the moment, What'd you conceivably tell Harvey that you were going to pay him? We made an arrangement. Don't worry about it. What kind of arrangement, Sydney? An arrangement, that's all. I, I know what I arranged. I tell you, don't worry about it, that's all. Where in the name of God are you going to get the money to pay for a newspaper? It's a small newspaper, a weekly. Sydney, you can't afford a yearly leaflet. Why is it ever enough for me to tell you that I know what I'm doing? The money was not the important part of the deal, one way or the other. This is a real rich babe Harvey's hooked up with, so he's not worried about the money just yet. And when he is, where are you going to get it? That's what little old Iris is standing here with her bare face, everyday self wondering about. I'll raise it, that's all. I'll raise it, period. Didn't I raise it for the silver dagger? Well, I'll raise it for this. In order to do things, you have to do things. That's all. Hey, look who I ran into. Hey, Sid. The answer is no. Iris, I don't even want to deal with Don't this. be a clown. Please hear what the man has to say. I know what he has to say, and I don't want to hear it. I'm out of it, period. My little artsy craftsy newspaper is going to stay clear of politics. Any kind of politics. Mm -hmm. Politics are for people who have those kinds of interests. That's all. I don't happen to have them anymore. Yes, I know. You've made yourself clear in the past. Politics are a blight on the natural spirit of man. Politics are a cancer of the soul. Politics are dirty, defeated. Compromise written exercises in futility, etc., etc., etc. A bunch of big drinkers here. Nonetheless, Sydney, I finally faced up to something that you've got to face up to. There's work to be done, and someone has got to do it. Now, I'm taking time out from a busy law practice which is just beginning to build. I'm sticking my neck out to run, and all I'm asking from you is a little legwork and the endorsement of what I take it is now your paper. Not even for you, Wallen. My readers can do as they please. In my paper, no endorsements and no editorials.